will sell the farmers the chemicals so they're not only just selling made in a laboratory up for uh, until the last 20 or 30 years this is food that has never existed they're in 80 percent of the food we eat but some say foods with gmo are too dangerous to wait the majority of soy in this country is, is genetically warranted. modified in we're going to have over expense in Fox, Connecticut. Gonna, Safety and health concerns should trump cost, according to Roy. Following the Littman saying that the labeling provision was eliminated from the bill. <laughs> With the public media becoming frantic about this mysterious produce, we can't help but wonder, what is a GMO? We hear countless news reports about GMOs and we are told by health professionals to stay away from them, but does the average person really know what a GMO is? I took it upon myself to survey a group of individuals to see if 1. They listen to the media's negative portrayal of GMOs and try and avoid them in their daily diet, and 2 if they even know what a GMO is. Here are the results. Um, yeah, usually I try to avoid them. Do you know what a GMO is? Um, kind of, not really. <coughs> do you try to avoid GMOs in your everyday diet? Um, yeah, I do. I actually do. <laughs> um, generic... No, I do not try to avoid GMOs in my daily diet. And I really don't know what a GMO is, but I think it's when there's like steroids in your food. What? I don't actively try to avoid GMOs in my diet. And I didn't know what GMOs were. Right? So I didn't know what GMOs are. I do not actively try and avoid GMOs in my daily diet, although I did know what they were off the top. Uh, no, I don't avoid GMOs, uh, but yes, I do know what they are. Most of our modern crops are GMOs, and they're uh, very helpful for all the things we eat and enjoy. Uh, do I avoid GMOs? The answer is no, I don't. Uh, second question, do I know what a GMO is? Yes, a genetically modified organism, and I encourage responsible research into them. I think they could be uh, very helpful to the world. Thanks. I'm not sure what a GMO is, but I do try to eat healthy with vegetables and fruits when I can. I don't know what GMOs are, so I don't watch for them in my food. Do I know what GMOs are? Um, not particularly, but I'm pretty sure that those are them. So no, I do not avoid those in my daily diet either. I don't try to avoid GMOs when I eat, because I don't know what a GMO is. Out of 70 total people surveyed, only 24.29% or 17 individuals actually knew what a GMO was. So for those of you who are still unsure of what a GMO is, let me explain. GMO stands for Genetically Modified Organism. A GMO or Genetically Modified Organism is a plant, animal, or microorganism whose genetic makeup has been modified. A common misconception about GMOs is that all of them are bad. Anti-GMO activists argue that we wouldn't know if they are damaging to us because they haven't been around long enough for us to know if they are harmful. This, however, is not true. Scientists have been swapping genes of plants since the 18th century. Gregor Mendel was among one of the first scientists to swap genomes between plants. His study of pea plants eventually grew more complex into the GMOs we know today. Even before Mendel, farmers have been modifying their crops for thousands of years prior. It is common sense. If a crop had a particularly good yield, produced an extra sweet fruit, survived a frost, or something else extraordinary, farmers would use this to their benefit and use the seeds from those plants to produce the best possible product. If farmers have been doing this for centuries, then why has it become so controversial in recent years? Selective breeding, which is what farmers did before technology, is essentially hoping for lucky hits. Genetic engineering, on the other hand, eliminates the element of luck. Today, genetically modified plants have many benefits to humans. As our world's population continues to grow, so does our need for food. 
Certain GM crops can be modified to contain more vitamins and therefore provide a healthier, more sustainable diet for poverty-stricken countries. As I mentioned before, as the population of Earth continues to grow, we are going to need more food. There are many different routes the world could take to feed this many mouths. We could continue to tear down forests to make room for larger farms. Or we could take advantage of the large production rate that GMOs provide us with. Not only do these GM crops produce a larger yield, there are also GMOs being generated to withstand droughts, floods, and the potential early frost. Much of the criticisms of GMOs are unfairly coupled in with the modern-day agriculture practices. Large corporations are often criticized, and rightfully so, for their unfair treatment of animals to maximize their production rate. Although GM crops do maximize production, they are doing so ethically and without harm. Genetically modified organisms, although feared by the media and portrayed in a negative light, turn out to be a positive for our ever-growing world. The need to change agriculture to a more sustainable model is very valid. GMOs are an aid for this fight in sustainability. They minimize harm done on the environment by eliminating the needs for pesticides and maximize the yields for crops. Living on a planet where population growth is inevitable, we need to begin looking at GMOs as a friend rather than a foe. Thank you.